What if you're a travel trailer toy hauler that had all the amenities from home, creature comforts, beautiful inside, beautiful out, with automatic leveling, roughly 8,100 pounds dry weight, and just over 37 feet long? Could that be a thing? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. What's up, everybody? Chris Young inside the 2021 Keystone Outback 324 CG. This toy hauler has the garage up front, which also doubles as a bunk room. Now, you got 82 inches roughly from front to back. You got 93 inches roughly going across, which gives you a diagonal of about 121 inches. Easily fit, you know, motorcycle, a couple of bikes, whatever you want inside this space. But take a look at my dovetail that we have right here leading down the rough, beautiful door with the extension down there. Yes, this leads up into the front of the 324 CG. Now, these bunks are the Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattresses, 150 pound capacity, but the cool thing about them, you got the strut support. Now this one's a little bit bigger. This one's about two inches longer, uh, or excuse me, two inches wider than the one up top, but strut supporting, giving me the storage that I need. Plus I got my D-rings down here for my anchors. Slip resistant, easy to clean residential style flooring. So if you did want to use this for a garage, you've got a good surface that isn't going to slip. But more than that, if you just wanted to use a toy hauler for the additional space, because that's the great thing about toy haulers, families get them for the additional space for entertaining, for sleeping, or let's say you want to set it up as a hunting cabin, fishing cabin, whatever. You got the room for storage. You got the room for sleep. You got versatility. You see where I'm going, right? Plus, you got the storage right over here. Ward storage up top, shelf storage right there, plus my battery disconnect is down there as well. The versatility with the toy hauler is so, you just get so many options. That's why when people don't really know what they're looking for, I try to angle them into a toy hauler because with the additional space, you end up using it. And hey, if you do end up bringing the bikes, you bring a motorcycle, you could probably get like a small side-by-side -side in here, maybe a go-kart. You just have the options, the versatility. You're hearing me say that a lot. Over 80 inches of height in these arch ceilings. You're gonna notice that all the way throughout this 324 as well. Got my TV mounting bracket there, key TV multi-source plus power. Got my vents, large window, beautiful chalet style, but wait until you see when we walk in. Now, remember, this is a toy hauler, but it's also an Outback. And with the Outbacks, Keystone wanted to give you comfort, style, beauty, and all the amenities that you would want from home. I mean, just take a look. Would you think off first sight, just being in this area, that this would be a toy hauler? No. You think right away, oh, okay, this is like a front living travel trailer. Technically, it's a front living, center living, center kitchen, rear living, bunk, it's, it's anything. It's versatile. That's what I love about these. Got my entertainment center right here. Large 50 inch TV on a swivel. Got my key TV connection in the back. Component shelves underneath. Large Titan flame LED backlit electric fireplace with multiple flame settings, multiple colors. And that blower right there does a great job of knocking the chill off the air. Got some shelf space over here. Plus I got with the frosted glass inlay. Take a look at that. That's beautiful. Residential, you got the light and the dark coming together, but it still has that, that wonderful light open feel. It's very inviting. That's what Keystone did with the 2021s. They heard people say, we want more brightness. We want them to be more warm, more inviting. And when you see the mix of making it bright, but also bringing in some of the dark accents, just makes it beautiful. Seamless countertop, plenty of prep space here. Got my drying rack right there with the undermounted farmhouse style, stainless steel sink, high rise faucet sprayer right here. And I didn't get a chance to show you this, but got more storage over here. Good spot for a grab and go bag. I love having an area just to be able to grab like a Kavu bag, hiking bag, water bag, whatever. Now you got 15,000 BTU air conditioner in this, 35,000 BTU furnace. Uh, and since it is Keystone, you're gonna have that racetrack style ducting system with the tough lock docks. The tough lock ducks. Quacks like a duck, must be a duck. That is what helps secure 
the, the space underneath the floor so you don't have those soft spots. And the tough lock also opens up the, the racetrack style ducting system so that the air is distributed evenly and more efficiently. Large storage cabinets, once again, these high ceilings give us more room to do more things. Got a little mini uh, mod wine rack up here, flush mounted microwave. Got the flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover, doubles as a backsplash. Plus got my accent lights there. Got my Furion oven. More space underneath the sink. For a little trash can spot right there. Plus you have your pipe access. And I have more storage over here coming off the tip. It's room, space, style, comfort, and versatility. Do not be scared of toy haulers if you don't have toys. Space and versatility is a key option in those. Got the Dometic fridge, uh, fridge, fridge freezer combo. Runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch. Got eight cubic foot of space in there. So if you do go fishing, you drain the lake, bam, got plenty of space to store there. Got the LED accent lights on the bottom of my booth dinette that I have here. Once again, the, the dream dinette. I love these because you don't have the uh, stands to hit your knees. Look, Bob and I can kind of sit here. We can talk about how it was today. When we're ready to sleep, this pushes down, turns into a bed. But take a look at the texture, the distressed look at this wood table, giving it that rustic chalet type of feel. I call Outback chalets all the time because that's what I feel like I'm in. I feel like I'm in a Swiss chalet. I should have pigtails drinking hot chocolate right now. I mean, it's beautiful. Large windows giving me air and light. Got wood inlays with the LED accent lights. If I wanted to enjoy the camp cooked meal, play the card games, do the puzzle, do whatever, just to reconnect with the loved ones because that's what camping's all about. And when was the last time you got a chance to get out and do that? You need to. That's why you need to check out an RV. But watch your head because with travel trailers, check it out. So being 6'2", slide doesn't really come over my head. So when you're getting up and down, that's one thing you got to check out and, and watch out for because you will knock your noggin. I do it all the time. Thomas Payne leather recliners with the cup holders. Got my little spot for my remotes right there. This is a good place to just kind of sit back and chill. I can watch TV. I can enjoy the fireplace. I can look out the campsite window over there, nestled on my backsplash of my kitchen. Or I could just kick these out and fall asleep because these are plush and comfortable. Now, control panel, run out my awning, run out my slides, check my tanks check my battery, make sure my water pump is on, my water heater is on. Bathroom with the solid door here, solid wood door, got my hangers, light on dark accents, just a beautiful mix. Cabin, chalet, love it, versatile. Single surround shower right here with the glass doors. Got that graphite, that matte black finish all the way around and super bright here with the skylight. What they did was they made it so that the skylight has more of a clear. It's not like just that sheen white. You, it almost looks like wet glass almost. So it helps expand the light a little bit, giving it more of a natural feel, way more brightness. Notch for my soaps right there. Large single basin sink here and plenty of countertop space. Plus my medicine cabinet, got the little raised lips right there, help keep stuff in place when we're in transit. And if you need more room, boom, you got it right there. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush as well. Not gonna be cramped uh, pretty much anywhere you go in this one. If you need more pantry space or storage space, ward storage, you got the double doors right here. And you got some shelf storage right there, as well as your circuit breaker panel. Got the barn door. Giving us access to the master. Take a look at that. Look how beautiful that is. As a matter of fact, Bob, go all the way back to like the front and just take a look at how beautiful it is just walking through this Outback 324 CG. Just absolutely beautiful. Solid barn door, giving you access to the master bedroom, separation of space, garage, living area, master bedroom, everything separated so that you can still have that sense of mind, that sanity of being away from everything. Once everything, you know, everybody's doing their own thing, 
you have your separation to go relax. Mirrored storage up above the king size bed nestled in its own slide right here. 13.5 BTU air conditioner inside the bedroom with a quick cool dump and strut supported storage and a pet kennel. That's one of the things Keystone added in their Outbacks was uh, a kennel for the pets, whether they, you know, safe travel, storage, you know, whatever you need. That's a good spot for them there. Only thing I would have liked to have seen, and granted, it would be tough to do. Sure, I got my little shelf right here. I got my power ports down there. I got a power port over here. I just like to have the option of having some space for a nightstand over here. Not complaining, just one thing I would change. Got my ward storage over here on the campsite. Plus solid wood construction. Once again, ball bearing drives, full extension, deep drawers. Plenty of room to put the stuff that I need. Got storage up top. And I got drawers down below. Plus I got a spot if I wanted to put a TV, I could right here. Or I could just look out that beautiful campsite window, charge my cell phones with the dual USB. Got my key TV multi-source connection there. Access point right here. So if I need to come and go, or my loved one and I, we want to go watch the sunset, or we want to just go take a walk on the beach, or do whatever, man. You got your own access point to come in. You're not going to disturb people. Same thing there. If people need to come and go inside the living area or the garage, you got multiple access points there as well. Versatility, comfort, space, and style. Check out toy haulers. They're not just for bike enthusiasts. They're great for bike enthusiasts, but not just for them. Beautiful. We've seen it inside the all-new 2021 Keystone Outback 324 CG. What do you say we go take a gander, RV and outdoors, and camping world look at the outside? Love toy haulers. What can I say? You just put the kids in their own little garage space. Get over there. Stop making noise. I'm trying to sleep back here in the back. Hey, checked out the inside of the 324 CG here, the all new Keystone Outback. Now let's take a look at the outside, starting right up front. Beautiful, rugged, rough coating right here, acting as your rock guards. Painted fiberglass end cap with the LED running strips, twin 30 pound LP tanks, BAL leveling system. What is that? It's auto leveling. Pretty much one button. Cut it on, this loads up, and you can go to auto mode, manual mode, run your tongue jack, the whole nine. Having this with your leveling jacks for the front and the rear, fantastic feature to have. Underneath, you're gonna see a heated and enclosed underbelly. You see my leveling jacks are down right there. We did that because we were gonna be walking in and out of the garage. Here's the outside, molded end cap. Got that beautiful fiberglass with the graphics going down the sides. Door access point, garage access point main entry access point with the fold up stairs, extra large grab handle doubling as a door guard, double axle travel trailer here on those 15 inch aluminum rims. You got the entertaining space out here if you wanna hang out, if you wanna do the cookouts, you know, just set the chairs up. Maybe you're tailgating and you're running the kids up and down in there, you have to the racetrack, whatever. Good space to reconnect here under the large awning, the large awning with the LED floodlights, dual zone speakers. You wanna set up the outside entertainment, Get your key TV multi-source connection here, power outlet there. So you can hang the TV, just set it out on the, you know, whatever. And here's your key TV connection for everything. The key TV is just where they combine all the sources. You're not chasing cables to try to find, all right, well, what am I using today? Am I using the antenna? Am I using the cable? The whole nine. Fold up going into the master bedroom, sealed safety glass tinted all the way around this unit. People ask, where's the spare tire? There it is, right underneath mounted. Sometimes you'll see it mounted on the back. Sometimes you'll see it underneath. Sometimes you won't see them at all because they won't come with a spare tire. Always ask your specialist, do we come with a spare tire? It's a good thing to have. Four by four sewer hose storage here. Solid mounted ladder with the additional grab handles going over the top, giving you that additional security and safety when getting up there to do the RMP. Arch ceilings with the three inch nozzles to keep the rain and the elements off the top of that and you plus the slides and backup camera prepped. Love it. 50 amp service right here. Got the slides. Looks like we got ourselves a little storage. 
these are great places for the dirty stuff. Let's say you go into the beach, you got the wet stuff, or you just got finished hiking and everything's muddy and bam, throw it in there so you're not tracking it inside that beautiful camper. Got my docking station right here, also known as the water connections. City water connection, got your tank vent, your black tank flush, plus your external right there if you need it. My terminations underneath, you'll see a black tank and a gray tank. Got the handles which are labeled, termination right there in the middle, plus my low point drain right down there on the right. Coming around here to the off camp side, I got my 10 amp solar panel quick connect right there if I need it, but the most important part of any camper is gonna be that info panel right there. That's where you go to take a look. For example, it says this one, the dry weight, 80,000 or 8,080 pounds, gross vehicle weight, 10,500 pounds. For a camper that's roughly 37 feet long, they can sleep as many people as this one does. You got one, two, three, four, five, let's say seven comfortably. Plus it's a toy hauler with all those beautiful amenities. That's a good combination. 8,000 pounds, 37 feet, got room, it's a toy hauler. That's one you need to check out. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you like about this one? What'd you not like about it? I love getting the feedback from you because we kick that right up to the manufacturers. That's how they make changes and adjustments to make them better. So please let me know what you think about this all new 2021 Keystone Outback 324 CG. I love the toy haulers, the versatility, the comfort, the style, all the options you can use them for. If you're looking at travel trailers and this is your first time checking them out, check out the toy haulers. Don't discount them just because you don't have a motorcycle or you don't have a side-by-side. -side. They're very versatile. I'm Chris Young from Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you soon, but as always, come check out a camper because they're fun.